Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I will be painting an easy Misty Mountains landscape and this is the photo I will be using as a reference photo but I will add something mine to it. It really won't be completely the same. I actually use it as a reference only for the sky. The colors I will be using for this painting are emerald green and a little bit of turquoise blue. I'm also gonna use neutral black for the mountains and the birds and for the brushes I'm going to use a larger round brush most of the time and only detail brush for the birds at the end. Right now I've mixed emerald green and a little bit of turquoise blue and I'm starting off with my sky and I'm not really trying to paint clouds in the sky. I'm just making one mostly the same wash. Somewhere I'm adding a little bit more pigment and somewhere a little bit less pigment. But most of the color I want in the upper part of my sky, which will be absolutely visible as a sky. And in the lower part, those that turquoise blue and emerald green will actually be that mist between the mountains. And right now I'm taking a tissue paper and as you could have seen I've just folded it to be thin and straight and did a couple of clouds and later on I squished it and made the rest of the clouds. And I'm going back and forth and picking up the paint on both sides and well, because the fact is when the paint is wet and you do not press hard on the paper to pick up the paint as this is the case here, well, the paint goes back into the places where you picked it up slightly because they are still wet and it could just look as though you haven't even picked up the, the paint. That is the reason why I'm going back and forward and picking up here, there and where I already did, where I already didn't, so that it can in the end form the the impression of the clouds in my sky. After the paint completely dried I'm just making the sketch where my mountains are gonna be and that is the step that you can do or or not whatever you like and at the end I won't end up with that arrangement it will look a slightly different but I did wanted to make well some guides for myself where I want those mountains to be. For them I'm using neutral black as I said earlier and for the first, the one that is furthest from us, I will be I will be showing you, well if you do not do not take enough water in your brush how it will look, how it will leave the marks and you have to work pretty fast for it not to leave the marks and well you will see how this one will end up compared to the other two. And as you could have seen, I just took a little bit of uh, water in my brush, not very much, and the paint dried pretty fast. So right now I'm having the trouble to remove that line from the paint when I added it for the first time. Now I'm trying to add a little bit more paint and I'm gonna see how it will turn out to be when it's dried. And now that it is dry, you can see that it asks for another layer because that line is still visible and I would have to use quite amount of paint even though I wanted that mountain to be slightly lighter, I will have to make it darker just to cover up that line that is there and well because I did not use enough water for the first time. After the paint completely dried I'm moving on to my second mountain that is a little bit nearer to us and you can see straight away when I used a little bit more water in my brush uh, it is quite easier for me to avoid that line and to make it seamless compared to rest of the mountain. So that is my advice to you when painting misty mountains. Use quite amount of water in your brush when starting to paint them at the top. So you will avoid in that way those harsh lines and transitions. 
when the paint on my second mountain also dried I'm painting the one that is nearest to us and as I said earlier it doesn't look quite as it is when I first made my sketch because at the end I decided that mountain to be the highest and well to cover up parts of the other two mountains that I actually really didn't like and that really showed those lines I was talking about. So you have to use some tricks also in your painting to, well, to make some illusions. And this is my painting, so I can do whatever I want. I can change it up as much as I want. But also, I must admit, I thought that would quite, that would look better in the composition way than the first sketch I made. And this mountain will be the darkest and I used most of the pigment because it is also the nearest to us. After the paint dried I'm moving on to painting my birds and for that I'm using a detail brush and also neutral black and as you will see I'm not really painting every single bird and every single part of that bird but just making the impression that there is some bird in the sky and well I will make those birds to look different in different positions and also in a different sizes. I decided to paint a couple of them in between the mountains because I thought that would look that would look actually nice composition wise and at the end also I decided to paint a couple of birds that will look like they are farthest away from us and for them I will just paint in a couple of dots and with that I'll be finishing off this painting and also this video thank you guys a lot for watching for sticking till the end and if you like this video please don't forget to hit the like button to share it comment and if you haven't still please subscribe to my channel it would really really mean a lot to me and do not forget to hit the notification bell because that is the way you'll make sure not to miss any of my future videos and without further ado I hope I'll see you next time bye